Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Savage back with another tutorial today. I'm sure you guys how to install Absolute Battlefront Galactic Conquest. Today, I'm just showing you guys how to install the Clone Wars version. This mod is huge and is separated into two parts. So I'm going to separate this tutorial into two parts. So this part so is going to be focused on the Clone Wars and then I'll do Galactic Civil War in the near future if you guys really want me to. Before you actually install stuff, what you need to have installed first is the 7-zip. The reason why you need 7-zip is for you to actually open up this type of file. Since it's a RAR file, you'll actually need 7-zip or WinRAR, you know, one of those two. But I use 7-zip, so you download 7-zip and then open the file with 7-zip manager. And another thing you'll need is the 1.3 patch. You need this for like almost every single other mod a part of Classic Battlefront 2. So yeah, I actually have a tutorial on how to install this, so no need to worry. If you don't know how to install the patch, just look at my video. Video. I'll leave a link to the video or somewhere in the description for you guys to watch that just to learn how to install the 1.3 patch for Classic Battlefront 2. And the last thing you'll need before downloading this mod is an actual copy of Battlefront 2. An actual legit copy from like Origin, maybe Steam, the, or the disc. I'd recommend Steam, me personally, because I don't know how the Origin or any other version of the game works. But anyways, once you have all this extra stuff out the way, 7-zip and the 1.3 patch, just go ahead and download this mod and you should be greeted with a 7-zip file that looks exactly like this. Or it'll, it'll look like this, but you can click on it and then it'll look like this inside of the folder. So before you do anything, just you know open this up where it says Absolute Clone Wars Galactic Conquest. You open it up and just wait here. All right, so the next step, what you'll need to do is open your Battlefront 2 directory folders. Since I have the game on Steam, just go to your Battlefront 2, right click, manage and browse through local files. If you have it on like disk, it'll be in LucasArts. So it'll be program files, LucasArts, and then Battlefront 2 if you have it on disk. Or maybe if you have it on Origin, it'll be through Origin Games and then Battlefront 2 Classic. I don't, I don't really know Origin, but that's just, I assume that's how it would be. Once you have everything up like you're supposed to, click on add on and then hold control and then click on data. And what you can actually do to manually install is actually put it here. Since I already have some some of the stuff installed, it's going to ask me to replace. But uh, if it asks you to replace, I will just go ahead and replace it. But if it doesn't, then that's how you will install it. All right. So what you do, you look in here, you'll see that your absolute battlefront is actually in there. You know, if you look in here, that's how it actually is. And uh, yeah, that's how you install the first part of the mod. The second part is a bit more tedious. You have to install every single mod, every single mod map part of this mod. You have to install them all separately. So this is just installing Galactic Conquest, but not installing all the maps to the extended Galactic Conquest for this absolute chaotic mod. Anyways, all right. So what you need to do is open up these text documents. This one right here where it says read me, be sure to check it out because it actually gives you instructions on how to basically install it and then it gives you credits or highlights all the all the other stuff and also but well, you need to open up this text document the one that actually says absolute battlefront clone wars maps and here is a list of all the mods you need these are the required mod map mods you would need for this mod to actually work because if you just boot up the mod without all these extra maps then once you click on an add-on map it will just it'll just be like a black screen with no command post and one trooper so yeah you don't really want that you kind of want to install all of these mods but you have to install every single one of these manually it comes with a link for them for you to just copy and paste and then you know just hit the download button and install to your add-on that's how you do it you know you'll just copy and then you'll go to your web browser either chrome or whatnot you'll just paste and go and then you can just download it and just put it into your add-on folder. I'll leave an image of how it's supposed to look in your add-on folder. That's what the modder left. So I'll just leave an image of how it's supposed to look in your add-on once you have all the maps installed. And once you finally have everything installed, like how I, you know, taught you earlier, then boom, you can boot it up and only play the Clone Wars size. So Republic or CIS so far, since I don't have the Galactic Civil War installed yet because I haven't showed you guys yet, but I will be doing a part two to show you guys how to install Galactic Civil War in the next few days. Anyways, hope this tutorial was helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.